Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. We have another uh, weird device. I think this is an oddball, but uh, but could be useful for the right family. I remember reviewing some time ago a giant uh, Lenovo uh, Idea Center. This one's a little bit smaller. This is the Flex 20. I as Actar from TNT and Know How uh, has it 20 inches instead of the 27. Uh, was it 27? The one I 27 had, inch it horizon. Was huge. Yes. Yeah. So this is based on the same kind of thing. It's called the Idea Center Flex 20. It's actually a 19 and a half inch screen. So. They're kind of fudging the numbers a little yeah. bit. It's got a touch screen when it comes to everything. We've got a Windows 8, as you've seen. And the first thing... This I is Windows to, 8 Pro, right? Not, Windows 8 Pro. Okay. The first thing I had to think about is how to review this thing because it does have this tilt function. And I could review it as a wacky tablet, but I'm going to review this as an all-in-one PC that also has tablet functionality okay. because I think it'd be silly to think that this eight-pound monster that has about four hours of battery life is really a tablet. <laughs> well, you know, eight pounds, you'd think they could put, like, a bigger battery in this well, thing. If, well, if they... Make it nine pounds and have it have a five-hour... I mean, four hours is a little long. Yeah, I think it's really meant for the occasional tablet right. usage if we're going to do that at all. It, it's designed for... Like a desktop. A desktop. This is because yeah. it comes with everything you're seeing here. So you get a mouse, a wireless mouse, a keyboard. Uh, you'll see some paddles here and a die. Yeah, we uh, had that before. <laughs> that, that's so crazy. And uh, one for dice-based games. One of the things that kind of drove me nuts about this machine here is the fact that it's running a core. It, it's an Intel Core i3 processor, oh, it's and so slow. It, it has uh, a games for up to four people. Right. Now, when I was testing out things like air hockey, two-player stuff, that was fine. When I was playing other games. That's it's very loud, though. We'll say this that. is the Lenovo uh, Game Center in it, right? This is a special thing designed for. Ah. <laughs> it's super. It's pretty loud, as you can hear it. Can you get that? Well, I'm th okay. So I'm thinking okay, I get thanks. an air hockey table. Maybe instead I should get this. Uh, not if you're going to have more than two people. Like the other games here, you think because Lenovo designed the, the actual software and hardware, yeah. they would run well on this? Yeah. It doesn't. Oh. Four players, it starts choking, and you have a lot of characters on the screen. It causes a problem. Uh, and so that occasional usage seems like it's limited at that point. Uh, inside is it also 500 gigabyte hard drive, four gigs of RAM. I think it could have really used a beefier processor, maybe a discrete graphics card, uh, because the games aren't super great when it comes to that. Is it a high-res display? Is that why? No. You'd think it'd be, because you'd be really close to it. It's 1600 by 900. That's <laughs> oh, terrible. Yeah. So you're, you're right on top of it. You can see a lot of the pixels. You can see the screen door effect like crazy on but it. But they wanted to keep the price down, maybe. Price yeah? is super low. $749. Okay, that's why. It starts at $749. Uh, I should get to the pros and cons of the device. Pros, I, got, I really do enjoy the fact that Lenovo tried... A crazy design. This is an innovative idea. We saw it on the uh, Horizon 27. Uh -huh. The accessories are pretty cool. They're all included, so they're not like trying to gouge you with. You got to pay extra for this uh, this little paddle here. Why would you have to pay extra for this? So if I want to play air hockey, there's also this little joystick. There's all kinds of things that you can use these things for. Uh, I really <laughs> Wait a minute. They stick to the screen? Two of them are joysticks and two of them are paddles. So I can, like, paddle around. Okay, for what, for ice hockey, I mean, uh, air hockey, the paddles. And this one is for uh, the, the Is joystick. it a suction cup? Yes. Okay. It's a suction cup. That's if you want to really, play the fishing game. It's really strange. And one die, die uh, suitable for nothing. But you have to power. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and imagine, Daddy, Daddy, we can't play the die. It ran out of power. Yeah, it's kind of silly because you're like, I'm going to throw it on this. And you seem, it just feels Do wrong. Do you have to throw it on the screen? It, to register it, apparently you got to be very close to it. Uh, but Lenovo does warn you. I kind of dumped off this. Do not use it with a coffee cup or it's very hard a to wait. You know what the game is? Keep the die on the screen. <laughs> okay. And, and uh, another pro is that it's it's priced at seven forty nine. Pretty low cost. Yeah. Well. Cons performance. You get what you get. What you pay. For. The performance. Can I uh, can I like get an i five uh, if I pay more? You can pay more. Okay. You can upgrade it. So the performance is sluggish with the i three. Okay. Uh, but you got to pay more for that, right? So it's starting at seven forty nine. The low resolution display, I think, is. I don't believe you can upgrade that. I'll have to double check that. But the low resolution display of this unit kind of irritating, especially since you're right on top of it. But as an all-in-one PC that you can actually take and pick up with you and move it around to be the occasional tablet, right. I think this is definitely a try because 749 is pretty cheap. It's one of the cheapest all-in-one kind of solutions I've seen, especially for this form factor. We're seeing Sony try it and a lot of other companies. I think HP. Well, you know, all of these are really just like home surfaces, right? That big-ass table, remember? The, yes. Which was uh, $20,000. Yeah, so it does have that great... It's you know if I was an it does it lies flat if I was an eccentric you know rich person this would be on my <laughs> coffee table all the time, but I was like I could just get an iPad and it would do right. a lot of things but it's full Windows eight but seven forty nine for an all in one PC I think it's a definite try. It feels like somehow it's obsolete technology <laughs> even before it came out. 
All right, that is the Lenovo Idea Center. And, you know, hey, you can't knock them for having ideas. The Flex the 20.